I've got a Vauxhall Porter here on a 2010-2011 plate. Just doing a battery on this. I'm going to show you how this done. It's quite a simple one if you follow me. Right, all you need is a 10mm spanner, a 13mm spanner. If you've got a ratchet, you can use a ratchet, an extension, a 13mm socket and a flat screwdriver. That's all you need. Now if you look right inside there, that's a 13mm bolt with a bracket on there which holds the battery in place. Then you've got this uh, 10mm uh, nut here for the battery terminal and you've got another 10mm right there for the battery terminal. That's the plus, that's the minus. Now what we're going to do is we're going to undo that one first on the inside. So I'm going to use a, a ratchet, but if you don't have a ratchet, you've got, you got to use a spanner. If you don't have a ratchet, you've got to use a spanner. All you do, if you go through the gap here, and you can see my, my spanner coming through, right there. It is a bit of a longer procedure, but it is possible. But if you've got a ratchet, which is good, it's easy, you can get it done as quickly as possible. Now, I know some of these screws, because uh, where it's in the plastic grommet underneath the battery tray, they do usually, if they're tight, they would uh, just spin and won't open. Now, if that's the case, what you've got to do is, if you put a, a flat screwdriver into the gap there, and then push the bracket backwards, and then force the battery out, once you've taken the battery out, and then you can try to undo that while there's no battery situated. But there, I'm just getting there now, so I've got the bracket out, that's it, that's loose now, so it's pushed back. All I now do is get a 10mm spanner and a screwdriver, that's what we're going to need. So 10mm and a screwdriver. Screwdriver is for the, for the fuse box here. So you I push this back, push the other bit back as well, the plastic bit, and then this sort of kind of pops out. We're not going to do that yet, so let's undo the battery. I've got a new battery for this already. There'll be a, a, an option in the description where you can buy the battery from. Uh, I'll have a link there as well. But this particular model, that's the number you always got to worry about. So if this is a 360 cold crank, 50AH, 12 volt battery. Now, if you get anything above 360, brilliant. Because that would help you start the car up in cold weathers really quickly. Now, I've got this done. I didn't gently pull this, there's a clip here on this side as well, pull that back, now the battery's out. So all I now do is lift the battery up from the front, as you can see right there, there's a stop point right there. If I pull the battery up and then push it towards me, I then gently, I've got to be careful with these wires, I then gently pull the battery out all the way, put it on the floor, got a new one, right here. Now, this is the U US battery, they come with four years warranty, so they're pretty good batteries, and the cold crank and everything else on this is brilliant, 500, 54 AH. It's the same size battery as the other one, but the power on this battery is brilliant. So that's the plus, that's the minus, so I'll leave that on there for a minute, and then gently pull the battery in, make sure you don't damage any of the wires, and then right there, so that sits in place, so the battery don't go anywhere. I then get the red terminal out, and then push it in all the way. As you can see here, I'm pushing that in now, that's lovely. And then I clip it in, that's clipped in. So all I now do is get the bracket, get my hand in there. If you just look on the bracket side of it. So if I push the bracket in, that's it, and then start screwing it in. Lovely. I do it by hand first, and then I just tighten it up with this. Not too tight, just gently. That's why I'm not doing it from here, I'm only doing it from the shorter end. So it's only nipped up. That's it. Battery ain't going anywhere. Put the tools away. Get the terminals. Plug this one in as well. And then I can undo this and then push this in more, but this is pretty good. So I'll just tighten it up. That's 
That's good. Do the same thing on the other side. Screw it in by hand first. And then unip it up. Now you got to remember with the life terminal, if there is anything metal uh, body or anything and then you're using the spanner and touch the body at the same time, it could spark. So just be careful with that. Whatever you do, just do not let it spark. Otherwise you will jump because I do all the time. Not really. I'm just joking. <laughs> but it's got to be done. Now I've just uh, tightened that up, just make sure I check, it's not moving, nope, it's not moving. I'm going to start her up now. See, the moment of truth. Oh, 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 That's what you've got to do on this particular model. If there is anything else you need to know, please do leave us a message. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, like the video, share it where possible. Thank you, goodbye. Oh, <laughs>